Now, I want to caution you the people who speculate about federal investigations usually do not know all of the relevant facts. Mr. Rosenstein, you have served in the Department of Justice for a couple of decades now. You've served under Republican administrations. You've served under Democratic administrations. And you've developed a distinguished career marked by integrity and fairness. Rosenstein has earned so much bipartisan support to serve as the Deputy AG that the Judiciary Committee reported out his nomination with all but one member, all but one member voting in the affirmative. Rod Rosenstein, who everybody across the board has unequivocally said, this guy is a man of upstanding character and essentially the gold standard at the Department of Justice. He is a man of extraordinary independence and integrity and a, and a reputation uh, in both political parties uh, of, of, uh, of, of great character. We started asking for information in July of last year and some of that is still not given, still has not been given to the Congress, still not has been given to this committee, the committee charged with defending the, the Judiciary Committee. So I appreciate what you do. I just want the information. And we're so frustrated that there is now a resolution on the floor of the House in just a few minutes that will be voted on. You know, they talk about the Mueller investigation. It's really the Rosenstein investigation. You appointed Mueller. You're supervising Mueller. Um, and it's supposedly about collusion between Trump's campaign in Russia and obstruction of justice. But you wrote the memo saying that Comey should be fired. And you signed the FISA extension for Carter Page. So my question is to you, seems like you should be recused from this. There is a basis for that impeachment uh, as a result of inconsistent statements that Rosenstein has given, uh, unwillingness to produce documents. And then to me, what's the most insidious thing is when they redact information. Why do we have to dig so deep to find out information that should come free flowing if, if we're really interested in justice? Do I support impeachment of Rod Rosenstein? No, I do not. I do not for a number of reasons. First, um, it takes, it, it, I, don't, I don't think we should be cavalier with this process or with this term, number one. Number two, I don't think that this rises to the level of high crimes and misdemeanors, a really high standard.